and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Parisa Saga and this is the Beauty Saga. Today's video is my submission to another one of the Beauty Saga makeup challenges. The theme this round was Bond Girl. The rules around these makeup challenges are pretty lax. So for this one I said you could recreate a look from an existing Bond girl or you could create a brand new Bond girl look. The only thing I was adamant about is that if you made a new Bond girl, you had to name her. Bond girls traditionally have like really punny names. Sometimes it's kind of like a sexual pun. So I very loosely based my look around Vesper Lind from Casino Royale. I love the new Bond films. I love Daniel Craig as Bond. I know that's like a controversial thing to say, but he is my favorite Bond. And the thing that I was so drawn to Vesper is her like smoky eye. She has the most like stunning black rimmed eyes and you just can't look away from her eyes. So I really wanted to do like a Vesper inspired smoky eye. I definitely like went off on my own. My smoky eye turned out very plum, which is flattering for brown or hazel eyes. We're more contoured, we're more glowy. This is definitely like a 2018 Bond girl. And since I said that you had to name your Bond girl, I was adamant um, I had to name my Bond girl. <laughs> so I am Bella Caboose. I mean, have you ever met a Bond girl that doesn't have a fabulous butt? So if you wanna see how to get this Bella Caboose, Bond girl makeup look and see start to finish how I got these smoky eyes. I also do full face makeup and brows on camera. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. Oh, hello and welcome to Gremlin Face. I'm going to start out with the brow situation on my face. Gonna make them a little bit more even. This one's got a higher arch. I'm gonna fix that with pencil and just make them bold and beautiful like a Bond girl. I will have all of the products, all of the shades that I use, all of the tools, everything will be listed down below in the description box as usual. So I'm gonna start by outlining my brows both bottom and top with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use the shade Granite. Then I'm gonna go in with the Dip Brow also in the shade Granite and fill in the really sparse parts, especially around my arches. Do a little light feathering at the front. And then going in with the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, also in granite. I'm gonna run that through my brows and make sure everything looks nice and matte. I do the brow powder on top of the dip brow very lightly. And then to finish off the brows, I'm going to use the Pixie by Petra Clear Brow Tamer Brow Gel. And then using the Tarte Shape Tape, I'm gonna take a, just a little bit of that on a small concealer brush and carve out the bottom of my brows a little bit. I already feel like I need a Red Bull. This does not bode well for this day. <laughs> this is like the new, like, limited edition summer one. It's coconut berry. It's delish. Highly recommend. I mean, I don't highly recommend, like, don't drink Red Bull. But if you're desperate and you need to pick me up this flavor, is a plus. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a lot closer and we are gonna work on these smoke it eyes. So my camera wasn't recording, but all I did was prime my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I set the primer with a little Cody Air Spun. So that's where we're at. So after studying these palettes a little bit, I think I'm actually gonna go primarily with the bronzed mocha palette. So starting out by combining the shades Talk and Speechless on a wet and wild crease brush, we are going to start building the fake crease. Sorry, I have to zoom you guys out just a little bit further because my camera won't stay focused. <sighs> So I'm bringing the color like all the way in, making sure to hold it 
at the end so I can, you know, apply the lightest application possible. Using the same brush, we're gonna dip into the shade Thief. Now I'm gonna hold it about midway and I'm gonna put it a little bit lower than the first shade. Now taking a wet and wild eyeshadow brush and the same shade of Thief, I'm going to pack this all over my lid. Going back in with the fluffy brush, but no additional product. I am just going to like soften it into the crease. Going back in with some of that original transition shade we combined talk and speechless. We're gonna do that again. Perfect the blend right there. Okay, now taking this wet and wild, I think this is the crease brush. I will definitely list it down below because I cannot remember the name of it right off the top of my head. We're gonna now dip into access and place it in the outer part of the crease and the outer V and blend. Taking little bits on your brush and slowly building up is how you win the race with a smoky eye. Okay, with the Morphe M169, like little tapered brush, I'm gonna start by dipping into Thief and running it along my lower lash line. just to kind of make sure my shape is going right on my eyes here. Don't worry, I know it's heavy now. We're gonna blend it out, I promise. Okay, so moving into the Morphe 9A palette for that black shade, I'm gonna use a Wet n Wild liner brush and I'm gonna line my upper lashes with it. Using the Julep Win Pencil Met Gel Long Lasting Eyeliner in Blackest Black, I'm gonna go ahead and intensify it. And I'm gonna run this through the waterline and a little bit in between my lashes on the bottom. Going back in with the smudge pencil we used under our eyes and a little bit more of Thief, we are going to make sure we blend where we put that pencil down. Using the same brush, I clean my brushes off in between with this little, what are you called? The Clean Sweep. I got this at Marshall, I think it was only like three bucks. It's amazing. So same pencil brush, I'm going back in with Talk and Speechless combined and we're gonna blend out the bottom. All right. Time to curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on some Kiss number 11s and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with lashes on, so it's time to move on to the face. So to start out, I'm going to use NYX's Angelville Primer pretty much all over my face. And then I am gonna go in with a little bit of Benefit's Professional right in like my problem areas, which are like my cheeks, like around my mouth here, my nose, just like in this concentrated area where I have enlarged pores and just like grossness. That's the only thing about doing your brows first that really stinks is you gotta be careful when you're applying primer not to completely mess up your perfect brows. And then taking my beauty blender, I am going to just like push all that primer in, a little bit more. The sponge will also pick up if there is like any excess laying on the skin. For foundation, I'm gonna go back to one of my tried and true loves. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I wear two different shades. I wear 118, which is light beige, and I wear 128, which is warm nude. This is basically like when I'm as pale as I can be, and this is like when I'm freshly sunless tanned, and I usually am somewhere <laughs> in between, so I generally mix them. Then I'm just gonna push it in. Okay, 
I like to just kind of spread it out with a foundation brush, get it like a little bit more even, and then beauty blend it in. Because otherwise the beauty blender soaks up way too much product. So with one layer all over, it gives medium coverage, and I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna build to full. I'm trying to wean myself off of it. So <laughs> with summer here and everything, I just gotta wean myself off that second layer of foundation. I just gotta, I gotta say no. Going in with Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I'm going to conceal my horrible under eyes. I'm also going to hit like around my nose where I get excessive redness. And the sides of my mouth which are really just like dark. I'm just kind of spreading out the concealer with the concealer brush. I'm honestly just going to give that like a minute to start to set before I blend it out and why I do that is because it keeps the coverage like where I want it. It doesn't just all like blend away quickly so letting it set just a little bit. It's a good trick. Beautiful. Looking like a porcelain doll. Well as close as I can get and that's what I like to see. Porcelain porcelain perfect skin. Okay, to set my under eyes, specifically right in the tear troughs where I still have some darkness, I'm gonna use the Ofra banana powder. So I'm gonna go ahead, put that on the darkest part of my under eye. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. And then using the Derma Blend powder, I'm going to bake the sides of my nose. And I'm gonna bake just a little bit over the tear drops too, cause they're still looking kinda waffle. All right, so moving on to bronzing and contouring, we are gonna use the Lorac Pro Contour. I'm gonna start bronzing up my face using this medium contour shade. Next I'm going to dip into light contour which has just a little bit of an ashier tone and I'm going to kind of carve out them cheekbones. Using the powder brush from earlier I'm going to dust away the bake. And then still using the light contour shade. On the same brush, I'm gonna like lazy girl hat contour my nose. Ready? Just pinch the bristles together, blend it, and then make sure to bring it into your eye socket. I'm taking the powder brush to kind of blend everything. Snatched nose and like none of the usual effort. For highlight, I'm gonna use ColourPop's In Nude Endo. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's called On Tempo. I own like five highlighting brushes and I can't find one, so we're gonna use an e.l.f. small tapered brush for this. Straight on, you can see it's giving me like a little bit of gray cast because it is a little too deep for my skin tone. So a really easy fix. If that ever happens to you and you're like, oh no, what do I do? Grab a really light highlighter. Like I'm going to use the one from the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, which is a white based white highlighter. The highest point right here that's showing the gray cast. Take that. Sometimes it's easier to do it like dead on so you can see what you're hitting and put that highlighter in there. I'm going to use the Lorac highlighter to get my nose and the inside of my eye right here. 
For blush, I'm gonna use this Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in the shade Cherry Truffle. How I like to apply my blush is I like to smile, show my dimples. I like to hit those real good. And then I like to sweep it back into the highlight and contour. I don't add any more product, but I do like to run a little bit of blush across my forehead, over my bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. Just kind of pulls everything together. The blush is looking a little bit heavy right now, so is the highlight, honestly. But once we spray down the face and pounce it in with the beauty blender, it's all gonna just like meld and be beautiful. So. I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus and then taking our beauty blender from our foundation, we're just going to go ahead and pounce all over the skin. I like to do this for multiple reasons, but it gets any water droplets that might have come out from the spray and pushing it in really helps to like blend everything then it all just kind of blends together and you're like yeah I got bond girl bone structure I woke up like this so for my lips in all of the like promo footage for Casino Royale Vesper has red lips on in the movie itself sometimes she's shown having like rosy or like watermelon glossy lips I'm obviously not following this to the T because her smoky eye is way more like gray, mine is way more plum, which is very flattering for my eyes. That movie came out in 2006, so I think I'm gonna do a nude lip, kinda do an updated 2018 sort of Bond girl look. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Nude Lip Liner. For the lips, I'm gonna use ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Midnight Snack. Maybe not, this might be too peach. I'm gonna give that like a minute to dry down, but I think it might be too peachy for what I want. Let's see how it is once it's dried. The lipstick color has grown on me, so this is the final look. love how the dark plum smoky eyes turned out. I think it definitely makes my eyes look brighter and you have like that nice like black rim around the eyes that I don't normally do. I think it definitely captured that Vesper S that I was looking for. My Bond girl look is very loosely Casino Royale inspired, but I think Bella Caboose has a life all of her own here. If you want to participate in the next makeup challenge, make sure to follow the Beauty Saga on the Facebook page. That's where I put all of the rules. I say rules, there's really no rules, but you know what I mean. And where to submit your photo to, deadlines, all of that good stuff. The Beauty Saga is also on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you do choose to subscribe. And until my next video, bye!